guys welcome back to my tutorial for today today i'll be teaching you guys on how to make a shift dress with this piece of ankara fabric this is about a yard and 20 inches please if you are new to this channel ensure you like share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to be the first to get notified when i upload it okay like i said this is a yard and 20 inches so i'll start by taking the gown length so the gown length i'm working with is 35 inches plus 2 inches for seam allowance that's to hem the the folding of the lower part of the dress i'll be using a total of 37 inches so 37 inches so this is my gown length 37 inches so i'll go ahead and those shift dress will be a joint sleeve that's to say the it will be having a separate sleeve it will be together with the shoulder so what i'm using in total here is 14 inches my shoulder measurement is 7.5 7.5 and the sleeve length will be six inches that's together with the sleeve so i'll come down here along this area along the sleeve area by 1.5 inches that's for the slope then one inch on the shoulder measurement then i'll mark three inches along the neckline so i'll just connect the lines together from these three inches now i'll draw it slanty to meet up with the 1.5 inches just stick it like this okay like I said in my previous video, to measure, to get your measurement for your joint sleeve, you have to measure from the tip of your neck, that's your neck bone, to where you want your sleeve to be. You just have to place your tip like this. You measure your clients like this, to where you want the sleeve to be. Then you take the measurement. It's just very simple. Okay, so this is my shoulder slope. So from that shoulder slope area, I'll come down by 9 inches for my sleeve opening. This is a free sleeve, it won't be firm, so it's kind of free. So I'll be using 9 inches for the sleeve opening. Then from my, from my shoulder measurement, my shoulder line, I'll come down by 14 inches, which is my half length. That's from my shoulder to my waist, 14 inches. I'm just trying to roll the line out. Then from my shoulder to my hip is 24 inches. Four inches. So on each of the line now, lines now, I'll infuse the measurement. We don't really need our bust measurement for this style of dress the shift dress so we don't really need our bust measurement so i'll just come down here by along the sleeve opening i'll come in by one inch then i'll come down by 1.5 inches you come in by one inch then 1.5 inches so on the waistline i'll include my waist measurements plus extra allowance for ease and for shipping of my dress so the waist measurements i'm working with is 28 inches divide by four will give me seven inches i'll add one inch for seam allowance then two inch for ease so we are using a total of three inches one inch for seam allowance and two inches for ease because it's a shift dress which is a very free dress you can see from the picture so on my hip line now, I'll insert my hip measurement, which is 38 inches. We'll be adding 3 inches extra to, to the hip measurement, just like we did on the waistline, which is 38 divided by 4, giving 9.5, 1 inch for ease, then 2 inches for seam allowance. 1 inch for seam allowance, then 2 inches for ease. So I'll just connect the line. Why on my hemming line, which is this point, I'll, I'll take the measurement I have on my 
hip area the total measurement i'll just place my tape like this i'm having a total of 13 inches so i'll see if you same 13 inches here 13 inches then i'll connect the lines together from my hip to my hemming line then from my waistline to my hip line so i'll just connect the lines together like this if you want yours to be freer than this then you add extra seam allowance to it but i'm okay with it like this i don't want it too bogus i think this is perfect so for the neckline now for my neck width i'll use three inches why for the neck depth i'll come down by four inches because it's still, it's still going to have a slit the front slit then for the back neck i'll come down by 1.5 inches so i'll just connect the lines together this is for my back neck and this is for the front neckline so this is my back neckline and this is my front neckline so i'll also connect this my sleeve like this together okay i believe you understood what we've done so i'll just cut this off i'll start with the back neckline okay This is what I'm having now. So for my pockets, this dress will be having an inner pocket. The dress is going to be having an inner pocket. So I'll measure from my shoulder line. Or you can just do it this way. You come down by 2 inches from your waistline. So this is my waistline, 14 inches. Then I'll come down by 2 inches for my pocket then i'll take i'll still go down by seven inches so you come down by two inches from the waistline then you come down by you mark seven inches below for your pocket opening so your pocket can fit in very well so i will take off i'll just notch that area which my where my pocket is going to sit i'll just notch it Okay, so this is where my pocket is going to sit, the space like this. So I'll take off the back now, then we'll continue working with the front part. So this dress, like I said earlier on, is going to have a front slit. So I'll mark. I'll first of all cut the front neckline. Cut the front neckline. Then, okay, so for the slit now, I'll come down by 4.5 inches. Because you can see from the picture, the slit is kind of a little bit deep. So I'll use 4.5 inches for my slit. For five inches, so I'll just open it up.
Okay, so this is my front slit. Okay, to join this dress, it's very simple. You just place right side facing each other. Place the front against the back, right side facing each other. But before then, we we'll have to, since we are not going to, I'm not going to using the lining on this dress, I have to cut a facing for the front part and the back part. You need to cut a facing. So we'll be cutting that facing now before we join the dress together. Okay, for the front facing, I just have a piece of fabric like this. So you just get a piece of fabric, you fold into two into two like this then you place the folded part of you fold your front part of your dress into two two then you place it on it like this you ensure you have enough room for your sleeves and also for the neckline so i'm just trying to ensure it's equal on it ensuring that it's equal with the folded area then you just cut out we start with the neckline then you cut the shoulder slope then you open up your slit which is 4.5 so I'll just open up my slit like this the slit Okay. okay, so that's all for the front facing. Then you bring out the your dress. Then you come down by three inches after your slit. I'm having three point five inches, which is fine. So I'll just mark three point five inches round. Just mark 3.5 inches from my neckline. Mark 3.5 inches. Then you connect the lines together. So this is how my front facing would look like. Okay, so this is my front facing. So for the back facing, you also repeat the same process. Your fabric unfold like this. A piece of fabric unfold. Then you bring the back of the dress. You also fold it into two equal parts. Then you place it on it, the folded area facing each other. You fold, place the folded area together. Please make sure you ensure your fabric is on fold. Then you first of all cut the neckline. Then your shoulders stop. Then you bring it out, mark 3.5 inches round, 3.5 inches from the shoulder line, like this, 3.5 inches, 3.5 inches, 3.5 inches. So I'll just connect it together and cut this out. This is for my back facing. You can choose to weave the edges or you fold it using quarter inches before you to turn this you have to place it on the right side of your dress. The right side of your dress. This is the neckline of my dress. 
I'll bring my facing. This is an inner facing. You place it like this, right side facing each other, then you sew. You can choose to fold the edges before sewing. You just fold using half or quarter inches. By the time you sew here, sew the neckline round, you notch it a little, then you flip it over and you use your hemming gum on it. So there are two ways you can do this. Or you take it to the, you weave the edges so that it's very neat. Then you turn, you sew the neckline, then you flip it over to the other, to the wrong side of the dress. So that's all about the facing. So we'll be cutting out the pocket. For my pocket, I'll fold my fabric into two like this. I'll place up my hand on it. You ensure you have, you know our pocket opening we use is 7 inches. So while cutting your pocket, you have excess. You won't use exact 7 inches. You have like 1 inch extra. So what, what I'm having here is 8.25. 8.25. So it's okay for my pocket. So it's on fold now like this. I'll place my hand on it. I'll just place my hand on it, leaving it at about maybe a few inches. It won't just trace exact area of your hand because we don't have same hand, but it's just to get the shape. So you just mark from this edge, the eight inches. You won't touch that side. You just mark from here. You extend it. Like I said, you are not marking your exact palm measurement. So something like this. You just take it this way. So I'll cut this out. See, I didn't cut up to this edge, so I'll just split this open. Okay, so this is for one pocket. I'll still cut two pieces of this more, making it four, two for each side. So this is just for one pocket. So I'll still fold another fabric into two and cut another piece of this. That's for the second pocket. I believe this is well on the stone and when you want to sew your pocket you come down by one inch or half an inch let's use half an inch mark half an inch on the both edge okay I'm marking half an inch because we are going to use this side this extra space we have to attach it to our dress so you sew using quarter inches round like this, just like I'm marking it. You use quarter inches to sew it round. You start from that point, the half inch mark. You just sew using quarter inches. You sew it round together, just like this. You ensure you leave some space here, so by the time you want to attach it to your dress, you can use this opening like this to attach to your dress. So that's it for the pocket. We just cut the second piece. Okay, for my front facing, just like I said for the back, you just repeat the same process. Right side facing each other. Right side facing each other. Then you sew from the neckline like this, using quarter inches, down to where your slit stopped. Then you cuff through, you sew all through around the slit. You sew on the other neckline, then you notch the slit area. You notch the slit area, that's the slit opening. You sew using quarter inches, creating the V shape around your slit. You just pull it up like this, you sew. Then where the slit end, you corner it, you just shape it a little to the other, to your left hand side, using quarter inches. Then you sew around the neckline, you notch it a little, then you flip it over to the wrong side of the dress and before starting you can just choose to fold the edges using quarter inches you just fold it round using quarter inches before sewing on the neckline 
after sewing you flip it over to the wrong side and you can use your hemming gum on it it starts preferable you can just iron and leave it that way so i'll just go ahead now and sew the dress i'll start by turning my neckline with my facing but for both the back and the front you first of all turn the neckline with your facing it's an inner facing that's the first step then you flip it over to the wrong side before you join the back and the front together so the first step is to turn your neckline with your facing this is an inner facing so that's the first step to do then after joining the turning your neckline with your facing you join the shoulder area the both shoulder areas so I'll just do just that before we move over to the sleeve extension. Okay, I'll be using this Ankara fabric for the sleeve extension. So I'll be cutting a small teflon. So I'll just put this into two. I think we'll be using at about half yard of fabric for the teflon or less than. Fold the fabric into two. So you can see from the picture, it's having a peplum around the sleeve area. Start folding into two. Now fold again into four. Okay, so from this folded edge here, I'll mark for my sleeve opening. So I'll be using three inches here three inches, three inches, then for the length of my peplum, I'll use 3.5 inches. It's actually a small peplum. This is it. Okay, I've turned the neckline. You can see how neat it's looking. I just did it the way I explained, and I folded this using quarter inches. So all we need to do now is to use either we just folded it once using half inch or quarter inches. You can use whichever you prefer. So it's either you tack it to the dress or use an hemic gum to it on the dress for it to relax on the dress either way it can go so this is my neckline looking very neat so for the sleeve now i've cut out my peplum in four piece so i'll be using i'll turn two i'll use two for each sleeve i'll just turn this over i'll sew from the edges using quarter inches then i'll flip it over just to turn the this one will serve as a lining though just need to turn it around then after doing that like i said earlier on i've joined the shoulder area together and this is it i'll just open it up like this before shaping my dress i'll fix this then i'll sew this peplum i split it open so i'll just sew right side facing each other sew it on the sleeve like this you sew it till you get to the edge after sewing you can trim up the excesses so i have little excess here so i'll just trim this off then it's shaping the dress after you must have sewn it together then you just put it together like this making sure that the sleeve goes inward then you shaping it with the body of the dress so that's all about the sleeve so just go ahead now just go ahead now and turn this over 
I'll just sew from here, from those edges, then I'll flip it over and iron it very well before attaching it to the dress. Then, when I get to where I notch for my pocket, I will stitch. So this is where I notched for the pocket. I will stitch when I get to this point. Then, stitch when I get to this point, creating an opening here to fix my pocket. Okay, I've attached one of the sleeves to it. You can see the joint part, and this is the sleeve opening. So this is my pocket opening. So I'll just fix this pocket underneath it. To fix the pocket, fix the pocket. So this is where I stitched. I'll just bring my pocket, just like I said, a left half inch open. So I'll come up by half inch. Remember, it's eight inches. The pocket, the opening is eight inches wide. So we are going to use half inch for both the up and down. So for the pocket, you come up by half inch from where you stitch. Okay, this is where I stitched. So I'll come up by half inch here and fix the pocket. You open it up like this. Then you fix, you fix from one side. You just sew like this. You sew it on it. When you open it up, you just sew on it like this. You sew it on it like this. Sew it on it to this point. To the other end. So this is how it will be on it. Then you do the same thing on the other side. So that's all for the sleeve. Just like I've explained, I turned it up. You can see how it's looking. So I'll just repeat the same process on the second sleeve. So this is my second sleeve opening. After turning up like this, I'll just place it on the dress and sew from one end from one end of the sleeve opening to the other end. You just place it like this and sew using quarter inches, quarter or half inch. Quarter inch or half inch, you just sew till you get to the end of the sleeve. Then you shape in the dress. When you reach where you notched for your pockets, you stitch, you stitch at that point, then you leave at about seven inches and also stitch, then continue sewing to the hemming line of the dress, just like I did on the other side. So I'll repeat the same process here and show you guys the finishing part of my dress. Okay, from the picture you can see that the sleeve, the gown is having a button design on it. So, so after shaping my dress, then I'll fix my button. Okay, this is the button I'll be using. You measure from the slitted area, like below the slitted area, down to where you want your button to be, to end. Then I'll just take my measurement from here. So I'll leave at about one inch from where we hem my dress. So what I'm having here is 28 and a half inches. That's from the slitted area to this point. So I'll use 27 inches because I'll be using the rest part of it to hem the dress. That's to fold the mat of my dress, the lower part of my dress. So this 27 inches will divide it by 3. Whatever we have, we fix that button like that. Just like this, since I'm having 3 buttons. If you're having 4, then you divide by 4. So this is how it will be like. So I'm having at about 12 inches distance. 12 inches distance for each button. So this is how it will look like. Okay, I can choose to make any color first. So this is how the button will be on it. So I'll just sew it on it and I'll ensure it's up on the midpoint of the dress. So after sewing the other side of the dress, I'll fix my button and I'll show you the outcome of this dress. You can see how it is looking very beautiful on it. Even if it's not yet sewn on it, the button has already beautified the dress. So I'll do just that now. Okay, this is the outcome of my dress.
This is the sleeve. 